everybody, Christy Sykes here. Wanted to pop on and talk to you guys a little bit about Peoria, Arizona, which is the city that I call home. And wanted to give you guys a little bit of the skinny on it because it might be somewhere you would love to move to if you're thinking of moving to Arizona. So let me give you the deets. All right guys, if you've stumbled upon my channel and you're looking for all things Arizona, the possibility of moving here, do not forget to hit the subscribe button, of course, the notification bell, and if you wouldn't mind liking this video, it would sure help me out. But without further ado, let's get started here. So Peoria is in the upper northwest corridor of Phoenix. It's about 30 miles northwest of downtown Phoenix. And, you know, with that being said, Peoria is super large. It's very elongated. So if you look at a map of Peoria, Arizona, there's essentially the north part, central part, and south part of Peoria. So it's very long and skinny. Um, so depending upon where you, you are in Peoria, you might be closer than that to downtown, or you might be a little bit farther, but on average to downtown Peoria to downtown Phoenix, you're looking at about 30 minutes. Uh, the population as of 2019 was about 175,000 people. Now with the flux of people moving in, I would say that's a lot higher now. All right, and I know this may be a little bit of an outdated fact, but I'm going to say it anyways. In 2018, Peoria made the top 50 list of the best cities to live in the United States, and it was number 28. So we can get into more of that as to why, but I thought that was a pretty cool little fact. In Peoria, it is highly known for its high graduation rates, pretty decent public school systems for Arizona, of course. The wonderful job growth is continuing to rapidly incline in Peoria. There's lots of new um, companies coming in and creating more jobs in this area. But also the housing prices in relation to other parts of you know the Phoenix Metro are relatively reasonable. Now, I say that in 2021, our housing prices have just drastically increased because of so many people moving here. Um, this last year, we grew at about 15 to 20% equity within 12 months. So that can kind of tell you what's going on here as far as, you know, housing prices and the climbing, um, you know, the climbing prices that maybe you've been seeing. If you've been watching about moving here in the last 12 months, you've seen those firsthand yourself. So keep that in mind. Okay, now jumping back to the school bit, um, Peoria is obviously one of the better cities and is widely known for its above average scoring on the public school system. So if you're looking at putting your kids in public school, whether it be elementary, middle, or high, you know, Peoria is really a great place as far as, you know, comparing it to other cities in the Phoenix metro area. And of course, there's always really wonderful charter schools in this area too, but I definitely recommend that you go to greatschools.org to kind of evaluate some of your school options if you have school-aged children and looking at moving into this area. But definitely, the schools here, even on a public level, are some of the best in the Phoenix metro. Because I live in Peoria, I know a lot more about it. So Peoria has some amazing, uh, you know, city city funded programs you know whether it be for youth for adults or even you know retirees they have lots of really cool programs and events and activities that are all funded through the city and obviously there's a small fee to pay but it's very nominal you can even put your kids into uh, swimming lessons through the city um, adults can even take like salsa dancing things of that nature and they also do have, you know, cities, uh, city funded and owned gyms at the rec centers. So there's a lot of things like that going on here. Um, there's over 16 miles of paved trails that a lot of people love to bike or some skateboard, some uh, rollerblade. Um, there's another community up in the Northwest quarter called Vistancia. And Vistancia is a really amazing picturesque pocket community in the northwest corridor very close to lake pleasant and it's just surrounded with nature and people love that it's very serene and quiet and just very very cute and quaint so that also is just loaded with hiking trails so peoria is definitely one of those cities that you're going to find a ton of hiking and biking and outdoor activities and sports clubs and things like that and um, we also, like I said, we have Lake Pleasant up in the Northwest Corridor. It's a 23,000 acre park with obviously the lake in there. You can do boating, you can do sports, water sport activities, you can camp, you can hike. Uh, it's, it's got two different marinas and they have restaurants on both sides and it's really a really cool place to go even just for the day on one side of the marina they even have this really cool kind of water slide that catapults you 
into the lake and that's kind of fun. The city also can put on lots of different events like stargazing or uh, full moon hikes and they do full moon kayaking. Uh, just some really, really fun things to really get yourself immersed in the culture here. So that's definitely a lot of fun. But speaking of, you know, water and things like that, there's more than just Lake Pleasant. We have Arrowhead Ranch just to the east of us, which is actually a Glendale based community, but it's, it butts up right next to Peoria that have lake homes. But still in Peoria, we have another lake community called Desert Harbor. Again, there's lake homes all around. Um, and we've got another park down south called Pioneer Park that has a nice lake. There's just some really cool things like that to, you know, really tap into as well as, you know, the hiking and biking and things. So it's a very outdoorsy community and there's lots of things to partake in when you're living here. So if the outdoorsy stuff isn't really your thing, we have P83, which is an entertainment district kind of in the central part of Peoria. So it has tons of restaurants, you know, bars, there's movie theater, there's, you know, some different, uh, there's a modern round, which is like a, a virtual shooting range uh, that's kind of a bar inside. P83 Sports Complex is in the P83 uh, Entertainment District. Now the P83 Sports Complex is basically the home of the Padres and the Mariners spring training season. So another perk to living here is you get to watch professional baseball you know, during their spring training training at a fraction of the cost. But another perk to the P83 Sports Complex is during the off season, they do host a lot of really cool community events. So they'll have like an Easter egg hunt during Easter and they'll do a really cool Halloween event during Halloween. And so it really allows the community to kind of pull in and, you know, partake in some of those really fun events. So that's pretty cool. Now P83 is also really close to, it basically is right on the border of Glendale and Peoria. and um, just to the to the side of that is Arrowhead Mall. So if you love malls and you love bars and you love restaurants, that's gonna kind of be your district. So you can go to the mall, you can you know find all kinds of things there, but also right along Bell Road, which is where the mall is off of, right next to the P83 Sports Complex. Bell Road, you can find anything that you need upon. Now, if you're looking a little bit south of there, um, we have an amazing district again glendale and peoria kind of like intertwine as you go down so like i said arrowhead mall really basically borders p83 sports complex arrowhead mall is considered glendale peoria sports complex is considered peoria and if you go south you're going to see the westgate entertainment district which is considered glendale but it abuts peoria now westgate entertainment district that's actually where my office is but again is loaded with restaurants and bars and you know, nightlife and entertainment. And um, of course it has the Cardinal Stadium and it has the Gila River Arena where the Coyotes play. And so that's another really cool thing to be close to. And then right across the street, we have Top Golf. So there's more and more coming, more and more developing. They've got Crystal Lagoons coming in, which is going to have a massive water park. And they're basically recreating kind of a downtown Disney sort of feel right next to the Westgate Entertainment District. So again, not Peoria, but it kind of is because it intertwines and it really just butts up to each other. So I think it's important to note. Now, if you go to the south part of Peoria, it's going through a ton of revitalization um, because obviously there's the older part of downtown Peoria. And so they've done a lot of renovation of that. There's a brand new hospital that they've just put in in that area. And there's some really cute little coffee shops and some little, you know, eateries in downtown Peoria, but they also have the really nice um, uh, arts and uh, recreation center through the city down there as well. So they have a really neat Peoria arts cultural um, event that they do every year down there. And that is one of the funnest things to attend. And again, there's, there's just a ton of community events that really pull everybody together. And again, a lot of fun. All right, so I'm gonna get into a little bit of a summary here. So Peoria has, the one of the most desirable zip codes in Arizona to live in. So 85383, it's in the upper Northwest corridor of Peoria, and it made the list for one of the top five zip codes. And so you can see a lot of different things happening in the 85383 zip code. There's a ton of new construction going on, uh, lots of commercial coming in, lots of businesses pouring in, which is creating more jobs. And obviously pricing of the homes are continuing to rise. They're rising everywhere, but because of it being very highly desirable, you're seeing multiple offer scenarios and things like that happening up here. 
Um, so you're going to be seeing, uh, you know, a lot of just craziness going on as far as the construction if you choose to move into that area. But some of the best schools, some of the most picturesque, um, you know, uh, nature around you. And but you still get a lot of the very quiet and quaint community feel. But you can get that in other areas in Peoria. Um, I would say kind of as a general rule of thumb that kind of the South Peoria side is a little bit more busy. There's a lot more going on. And if you start moving up into, um, you know, the central part, there's more going on, but it's more of that entertainment, right? There's more entertainment going on. It's still the city life, but there's, there's things to do. So as I've said in previous videos, you know, if Phoenix in general is very spotty, you're going to have, <laughs> you know, different communities and different things. And, and that kind of holds true with the suburb of Peoria. But, um, you know, moving forward, I would say if you have any questions about the city, please feel free to reach out to me. Like I said, I am a resident of Peoria. I have lived in the central part and in the north part of Peoria, so I know it very well. And I'm very familiar with what's going on here. So definitely don't hesitate to reach out. Like I always say, I am an open book for you guys. Hope this was helpful and I look forward to chatting with you guys soon. Take care.